This is George at uh, Photon Oasis number 11 uh, demoing the X5U3 wireless microphone system. Um, this is it right here. And uh, we'll see how it uh, handles the field. This night, it was rather cold, so I only had about 30 people up here during this test. But the signal was steady, the sound quality was flawless, and it was amazing seeing how much being untethered could really inspire the talent to move around and perform. Then, a week later, for my Halloween show, the U3 was clear and stable and an asset to all the performances that night. Running my microvenue, I'm always looking for tools that will save me time out in the field, and that means going wireless. So, let's now take a closer look at this system and its uses. Time to unbox, get the sleeve off, box is nice and textured, and we've got the transmitter and receiver. These are really tiny, and it's a very simple concept. Receiver is like plugging a cable into an input, and transmitter plugs into a microphone or mixer or instrument out. You just turn them on with these little switches, and the button in the middle sets which channel they are on. You get them to align, and when the receiver is green, it's good to go. Let's see what else is in the box. This is good. It's a two-headed USB cable, Y cable. Has one connector for a USB port and two connectors for charging both the receiver and transmitter. Cute little sticker. Warranty card with registration info, 12 months, pretty standard. Here's the manual. This is cool. It's a list of all the frequencies that the channels use. This will come in handy later. Some specs, some details. It's a really simple system, so you only need a simple manual. And boilerplate, uh, warranty, FCC document. Finally, there is a bag. Velvet textured. Uh, this is nice. It's spring-loaded. Easily fits the U3 and the cable and remains shut. Plugging it into a microphone, I'm struck by how light it is. It really doesn't seem to add any perceived weight to something like an SM58. The connection seems solid enough, just a little bit of play, but it has a plastic gasket here, so it's built to flex a little. Comparing to an XLR cable, it's really amazing how small they are. It's like they took an XLR end and they just squeezed a radio and battery into it. If we compare it to a more conventional wireless system, it's a small mess. Like, it has a clip its own wire, external antenna, and AA batteries. The X5U3 just has a USB recharging port. Other systems, you have to take the damn things out every single time. And many wireless systems have even more to fuss with, boxes and AC cables and such. The U3, they really distilled it to just as simple as it can be literally like a wireless cable. Just to demonstrate, you turn the system on, plug the receiver in just like a cable, and then you just dial up the gain to the same setting as you would with a cable because the whole system operates uh, on unity gain. Also, just like a cable, you're not stuck. You can connect it to any dynamic microphone that you want, and it will work perfectly, which is great when performers want to use their own microphone. Also, um, one more thing, this system is compatible with more exotic dynamic microphones like kick drum mics and 
bass amp mics because it's full range, flat response. Even more expensive wireless microphones are bad at bass, generally speaking. On that note, I'll show my test results. To test full range, flat response, I run a test zone through the U3 and then compare it to the original. So, we start off with a 1.1 decibel dip between 20 and 40 hertz, that's very small. Then from 40 to 100 hertz, uh, less than 0.4 decibels. And after that, it's only about a 0.1 decibel variation from 100 hertz to 7 kilohertz. And finally at the high end, there's a 0.3 decibel drop at the end. That's extremely consistent. Compared to my analog system, which has substantial dips on the ends and a slight bell shape throughout. On distortion, the XY View 3 is incredibly clear. I ran a test tone and found extremely low harmonics compared to my analog. The U3 is also consistently clear across the entire spectrum. It's not just about total harmonic distortion at 1 kilohertz. Analog systems really struggle with nonlinearity. Here we see that the bass frequencies through my analog system have much more distortion, while the U3 doesn't. Every digital system has latency, but it's not noticeable if it's less than about 10 to 20 milliseconds. The X5 clocks in at around 5 milliseconds. So you could have one U3 be a mixer to speaker and another be mic to mixer, and the latency would still be too low to notice. So to stress test the range, I had the transmitter plugged in right next to my phone, which was acting as a Wi-Fi emitter, and then I took the U3 Let's for a short walk. I got about 92 feet before distortion, which matches the specs pretty well. To reduce chances of interference, use channels 4 and 5 on the U3. Many Wi-Fi devices use channel 1 by default. The manual shows us that channels 4 and 5 on the X5 completely avoid Wi-Fi channel 1. Finally, the battery life came in at around 9 hours and 22 minutes. I just sent a signal through the system and timed it when it stopped. Now I'm going to check how line mode compares to using a cable. I plug the U3 set to line mode and a cable into identical outputs and inputs to compare the differences. I bring in the test tone. And I can see that the cable on the right is sending a louder signal than the U3 on the left. I can switch the transmitter in mic mode, and we see the cable and the U3 matching levels up until zero decibels, but you have to watch out because you'll get clipping if your signal overdrives the transmitter. One critique I would have of the U3 is that it doesn't have a warning light if you're overdriving. So if you're using a line-out mixer or instrument, you'll need to listen for clipping to set the right level of output. Though, if you only use this for microphones, that won't ever really matter. Overall, the X5 U3 makes the grade. It's a great simple use system for studio use, field recording, and smaller events. You can buy using the link in the description, and comment if you have any questions. Thanks.